What is E.T. short for? Because he's got little legs. <laughs> How many of you thought extraterrestrial then? <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a different Wi-Fi extender that is, it seems to be really popular with a lot of good reviews. And it does seem easier to connect to the previous TP links we've shown in the how to make your internet speeds faster video. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, I want to thank Rockspace for sending this product out to review. And if you're interested in looking at it, I will leave links in the description down below. Right, so I am going to start talking a bit slower so people know what I am saying. Because I even realise myself, I do talk a little bit fast. So I bet it is hard for you to understand. And also, if you're wondering what's that under your eye, I had a skin tag. It weren't very big, but I had a skin tag and it bothered me. So I had it burnt off and it hurt like a bitch. But just so you know, I ain't got um, the new virus outbreak that's happening. I can't say it because YouTube don't like it. And I ain't been in any bother. I've just had a skin tag burnt off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yes, the Rockspace Wi-Fi repeater. And what this does, if you haven't seen my previous video, it literally extends the range of your Wi-Fi signal. So if you do find that your signal upstairs is poor and it keeps disconnecting, you're getting a lot of buffering, one of these will more than likely help you because sometimes there's no way of getting your router anywhere near the device that you are connecting with. So what it is, it's just a plug. That's it. It's just a plug. The TP links, it had a mother plug, mother plug, mother plugger, <laughs> a mother unit that you plugged in near the router. You had to connect it via Ethernet and they had the Wi-Fi extender and then to connect, it, it just... There were a lot to it, but this is literally just one plug that we are going to connect to the router. So when we do open the box, you can see you get one plug like we've just said, but you also get the instruction manual. Today we are going to be connecting it via WPS, so we're going to connect it directly to the router. And this means whenever we connect to the Rockspace extender, we're going to be using the same password we use for his connection already. Whereas the TP link, when I did connect without WPS, I had to connect to a totally different network and enter a totally different password. But when we open the box, like we said, the plug, that's all it is, that's all you get, and it is a nice looking plug. It's got a couple of antennas, so obviously, when we see antennas, we think of better signals straight away. And then you're also going to see three lights on the front and a WPS button. And then underneath you will see the Ethernet adapter or the Ethernet port where you can connect an Ethernet cable and then to your laptop, games console or something like that. And then the reset button. The reset button is just used if you want to connect it to a different network or a different router. If you want to gift it somebody and they want to connect it that's when you will press the reset button. How these work, they emit a signal in a 360 degree range. So think of a circle in your home and my router is pretty dog shit. <laughs> so now if you think that's in the corner of the house, think of a circle and then the Wi-Fi extender, I'm gonna move to the middle of the house so another circle of range, I can't explain shit me, but I'm trying to bear with me. <laughs> so think of it extending the range again. Now connecting this up is super simple. It took me literally 30 seconds and two presses and I was done. So connecting it, I use the WPS function on the router. On the front of my router, I have got a WPS button. It may be on the back of your router. Or you may not have one. If you don't have one, it will follow the other set of steps that are on the instruction guide. But all I did, press the WPS button on your router and then plug the plug-in, so the Wi-Fi router, somewhere near the router so the connection is strong and it's, you know it's going to pick it up. And now once you've plugged it in, you press the WPS button, it will start flashing, then you will know when it is connected and it's as simple as that. Another feature I do like about this plug is once it's connected, you can see a light and it does say signal. If it's blue, you know the signal is strong and it is good. If it does go red, it means the signal is a bit weak, so you could do with moving the plug a little closer to the router. So once you have connected the plug, what you can do, I don't know if you're on a fire stick, if you're on your mobile phone, what you're using it on, but first of all, if I show you on my phone, 
you can see my normal internet connection, my Wi-Fi connection, it starts with VM. And then now I've got two other channels and they end in, I can't remember what they say. <laughs> I think it, they end in something like EXT something. And one is 5 gigahertz and one is 2.4. So you can see now you've got an extra two channels and these channels are coming from the extender. And then if you want to connect to one of those channels on the extender, simply select it then type in the password that you've already got set for your router, your main router, and then that's it, you're done. Now, a lot of people do say, well, I don't really want to connect to a different unit. I don't want to connect to a different channel. It just seems like a ball ache. You can upgrade to like your mesh systems and that, but you are looking at quite a big price when these, they're pretty cheap and they've worked for me. So I haven't had to spend hundreds. I've literally spent under £50 and got the same results. Another thing as well, I did do um, speed tests on the Fire Stick because obviously that's what most people use now. They both gave similar, it didn't really increase the speeds, but that isn't what we're looking for. You could have 500 meg download speeds and take it upstairs and not have a fair signal or a weak signal, it's not gonna perform very well at all. You could have a 20 meg download speed and if upstairs you've got a very good signal, you're probably going to have a better experience than having something with a fair signal. So do bear that in mind. It's not all about speed. A stable connection will be a lot better than a fast connection. Unless you are on McDonald's Wi-Fi and you are getting like 240 kilobit downloads. <laughs> right, so before we forget, let's take a quick look at the pricing. And it is available on Amazon in both the UK and the US. I do believe they've only just started listing on the UK Amazon, so you're not going to see too many reviews or anything like that, but it is £39.99. And I'm going to show you one more thing to look out for, because it's only just started being listed on the UK Amazon, it may come very soon. So if I jump over to the USA Amazon, you can see it comes in at $45.99. But if you do look underneath it, you can see it says coupon, and if you tick this box, it will discount a further 20% off this price above. And I don't think it's on the UK one because it is new to the UK Amazon, but do look out for that coupon no matter what you're buying, make sure you do check for that box there because you can save money. You can also see as well it says $16.30 for shipping and import fees to the United Kingdom, which will no longer apply because it's now available in the UK Amazon. So just ignore that shipping price there. And one more thing, like we said, in the UK, it's new there, so there's no reviews on it, but look at the amount of reviews in the USA Amazon. Almost 8,000 ratings, so reviews left, and it's at four and a half stars. So for that many ratings, that says a lot about a product, because a lot of the time, people only leave reviews to say something's bad about it. So that was one thing that caught my eye. And it's one thing that says it is a good product. But I'm guessing you will let me know in the comments section down below. <laughs> so that is the Rockspace Wi-Fi extender. And they did reach out to me after they saw the TP-Link video. But I did hear a lot about it. People were messaging me about it, saying it's a lot better than the TP-Links. The price is very reasonable. And just like how simple it is, you've got one plug. Not the plug with the ethernet to the router, then the plug connecting to the plug, all that shit. Like it. Right, so do comment down below if you use any of these Wi-Fi extenders. I know some of you do use mesh systems, but they are out of a lot of people's price range. Including me own. I wouldn't want to spend that much on a mesh system myself. And do comment down below if you use the rock space in particular. How have you found your experience with it and has it helped you? Has it? <laughs> Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tada!